he's done something that I think three other players in the NBA history has done that's in that top ten. I think Kareem done it, uh, uh, LeBron's done it, and Michael Jordan's done it. Nobody else has done those MVPs, uh, uh, postseason MVPs, uh, been able to do what he's done, winning thirty four, points, is whatever it is, yeah, well, however you put it, it nobody, together. Yeah, he's so on the list. You got there, there it is right there. No, Michael Jordan, Jerry LeBron West. James, and Jerry West. Nobody else has done thirty-five that. and five in the finals on average in, in the final series. And so, and then there's another one talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, uh, is that it right Multiple there? Multiple MVPs, go, right finals there. MVPs, there and scoring titles. There Nobody are five of them. This, the, so this is only, really interesting. The only unanimous MVP, and by the way, games with 10 plus threes in NBA history, he leads it by a wide margin. Well, of course. So I there mean, you it's go. The new, here, here's what's interesting to me about this list. If you do your top 10, and this is multiple, multiple MVPs, a finals MVP, and scoring, and scoring titles. titles. Yes. Steph, LeBron, MJ, Kareem, Wilt. What I... And here's why Wilk probably gets kicked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he doesn't have as many championships. Got two. Yeah, got two. As Steph Curry in two different cities, and he was playing in the Bill Russell era on a loaded but like team. But Jay they say, were on man, a loaded team. Eight feet tall, well, yeah. and everybody else is five. Well, so, well, hold on. So, so I've talked to some. I'm not going to yep. say who they are, but some very, very highly respected players from that era. Mm-hmm. Very high. Sure, sure. Okay, who said to me like, Jay. I'm not minimizing Wilt because Wilt was incredible, right? But the two championships, that's one caveat. The av- and I know you're going to say, Max, against the contemporaries, right? Yeah. But the average height of players back in that time was <laughs> eight, right? The average height. Was eight? Well, like it's saying on, on a scale. On a right? scale of like one to what? One like one to 45. Like okay. This so is how the- they use, right? Got it. Average height during Jordan's time was 28. Right. So the size, the frame has increased drastically. Sure. The athleticism. So the contemporaries are different. Like now you're looking at LeBron, KD, all these guys. Like I think that warrants something. I, I Well, yes, you also need to look at the strength of your contemporaries. But when I see a guy 7'1 back then, it's like if there was a dude 8 feet tall today. And like you know, in other words, Will I don't know Will had this enormous. Ta- I don't know if guys it's not are that you grow. Taller. It's not that you grow Will taller. It's that you have to comp- greatness. Not not who's better. Of course, there are players better than Will because skills evolve. But greatness to me is how you fared against your contemporaries. You can discount him for his contemporaries. But the flip side of that is, if you're seven one and the average player is six three, that would be like if we saw a player today come around and he's eight feet tall and he's an Olympic hundred ten meter hurdler. Shaq. I mean, Shaq. right, right. It's or like a Yao bigger Ming was Shaq. Seven, six. It's like Yao Ming if he could play like Shaq. So it's hard for me to take a dude like that out of the top ten. He was so much no, better you, you, than everyone you, else. But you already discounting plus the champion, the lack, the of, lack championships of championships compared to everybody else. And by the way, like it, there were games in which Wilt like fizzled. I mean, I know I, not fizzled, but didn't. I've always didn't heard this from his. Con- I've heard. I've heard, like heard this through. from his contemporaries. What they say is, if you needed scoring, Wilt would give you the assists. Awesome, yeah. If you needed. Passing, he would give you the points. He had that, like, almost in a way big man trying to fit in thing where it, where it's like he's not quite in the moment of truth imposing himself. Like, But let me just say, Jay, the impressive thing about that list is those four other names, Kareem, MJ, LeBron, and Wilt, are usually four of the top five for people, along with, um, who am I missing? Bill Russell. Right, who didn't do it with the stats the same way? That's usually people's Bill top five. Top five. I mean, huh? Bill Russell has it's hard. Chips, man. It's hard. Eleven, 11 chips, it's man. Hard. He's in my top five. Yeah, it's hard. It's Granted, hard. with the caveat though, you had to win two playoff rounds in order to from fifty-seven to sixty-five to actually win a championship. So it was elongated, but still. Bill Russell played in 21 deciding games in his career. High school, college, like the whole thing, and the pros. 21 times he came down to the deciding game, right? How, what do you think his record was in those 21 games? Deciding games in his career, amateur and pro, Bill Russell. What, are you undefeated or you lost one? 21 and 0. Oh. That, well, that, that, no, okay. when it done. comes down to done. it. <laughs> done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes down to that dude's a winner, period. So, Steph, what I love also what he said, guys, when he made it about the team, Jay, so much of the argument with Steph is, yeah, KD might have been a better player than him, but who creates that team where they win? His resume is better than KD's. What, <sighs> Oh, man. Point. Now, especially. He got, yeah, he got he got two without KD, and I was opposed to the two with KD. Like, he has two MVPs. Like, it, all the records that he's setting, and I know KD will go down as one of the most gifted scorers ever to play the game of basketball, but, I mean, that's the reality of it. 
They were on the same mean, team, though, and KD was better. It's That's what's – listen, I would say just for me – But you, was he – but, but see K, – Was he better? Yeah. Was he better because he's just better and he's seven feet tall, or was he better because that is the way Steve Kerr coached him up and, and Curry deferred to him as the guy? Like, you recognize when I played my 202 with Jay – Hey, Jake, already right, here. Do you but you're, you're the guy. That's because even if you're Kobe, if you got Shaq, just give Shaq the ball. You can't lose. Well, that's lose. what Kobe right. did. Yeah, right. Kobe right. said, you, you, uh, my time will come. So my top, I'll, I'll give you 10, okay? This is just for me, whatever. But there's a lot of lists are similar. My f- top five I'll put in order. I have MJ, LeBron, Kareem, Bill Russell, Wilt. Okay, that's my five. And then the next five in no particular order, Magic and Bird and Kobe, uh, Duncan, and who am I missing? I'm missing someone. Shaq? I and Shaq. And Shaq. Did you say Magic? Yeah, Magic, Bird, Kobe, oh, Shaq, okay. Duncan. Those five. To me, the guy I got my eye on, if Steph replaces someone or KD, let's see, might be Duncan. Because as great as he was over the course of his career, I think Kobe hit higher heights. Duncan didn't have a run where that's the best player in the game for five years or something like that. And top 10 all-time player. Do you you think Wilt gets replaced? I, I'm on, do you think he's already replaced by Steph? I do because I think the lack of championships, even though there is individual greatness, I think that if you're measuring resumes by championships on in conjunction with the individual greatness, yes. Interesting. What about you? He? I mean, Tim Duncan is one of the greatest dynasties of all time. Mm-hmm. I'll hold that thought. Steph Curry was asked about finally winning finals MVP. What does just this mean to you to finally be a finals MVP after everything? Forget that. We champs. Why are you starting with that question? We got four championships. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.